Welcome back guys to another video of channel. Today, I will be showing you guys the tip, the best way you can win in boxing beta. I have thought long and hard to try and figure out how we use, how some of us casuals can beat these higher ranked players, but I figured out their tricks and I'm going to be sharing it with you guys today. First things first, before we get on to anything though, uh, go join my Discord server down in the description below. Uh, I will be uh, needing your help for something in the future. And uh, if you guys want uh, to ask for help from me, Join the Discord, you'll be able to ask some questions in general, and I will help you guys out there. But, let's get on with the tip. So you guys um, know that the stamina, the combat system, a lot of it has changed in these past few months. There is a lot of more stamina usage on dodging, it's a lot more um, spammy, It's it, there's a lot of different ways you can win fights. But there's one trick. Do you guys remember a little bit before there was an update, which made it so that dodging was super, super overpowered? Like, if you could basically spam it and you would win all your fights. Well, guys, officially, if you don't know how to dodge correctly, you're you're gonna lose. I will get into a spar into a fight with somebody, and I will teach you guys what I'm talking about. Let me go find somebody. Alright, so guys, I'm fighting a really low rank, but this still applies. What I want you guys to do is to fight someone, and all I want you guys to do is practice fighting without dodging once. Practice your block coming down practice everything of that matter let me explain you guys why there is a lot of players that are asking me why are they why is everyone losing their stam so much faster or why am i losing my fan my stamina so much faster than other people well guys i hate to break it to you it's not because you're dodging too much it's because your opponent is um either not punching you when you're dodging or it's because you're punching your opponent while they're dodging. A mixture of both will ruin your stamina in a speed that is incredibly, incredibly uh, fast. So what you guys want to do is limit your dodging. I don't want you guys, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see just spot, dodge, dodge, dodge. I want all right, guys, guys, future Grizz here. I'm just going to kind of say what I'm trying the to explain because I'm kind of going all over the place. But what I'm trying to say is, is be careful when you punch your opponent when they're dodging because you lose the same amount of stamina when you punch your opponent and they dodge it, then if you just dodge without any consequence. And if you time your dodges correctly, you'll only lose the same amount of stamina as, is as if you were punching your opponent and you missed. So that's what you need to know. Just make sure you time your punches and your dodge as well. What you guys have to do is practice the timing of your dodging and just trying to learn when you should punch your opponent and when you should dodge. Learning this and mastering this will make you go so high in rank. It's not even funny. Even me I'm I'm nowhere near this rank, but I, I have to learn when I want to dodge when I want to fight So it's, you see this guy is very hesitant to dodge So now I just have to be careful with my dodges you can see he's dodging a lot So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for him to, to dodge before I punch now He's dodging again like he's very he's very dodge first. I'm gonna focus on his block you see, you guys, I'm not I'm not dodging much, but since I'm messing up my punches, I'm the one losing stamina. Because all he's doing is he's dodging first. So, I, okay, now you see, I'm messing up all my dodges and all my stamina. This is perfect learning, guys. Break his block. Now he's going to start spam dodging. You see, now I have to wait. Wait. Patience. Patience. He has no stamina. He has no stamina. Now break his block. I'm just being patient. There we go. All you have that was perfect learning experience. I didn't punch well that round. I completely just didn't punch well at all. But just being able like for him, if he knew how to counter, he would have killed me. It's all about learning how you should counter your opponent. The best tip that I can give you is learning how to manage your stamina so you have a lot more stamina to use. But yeah, guys, so what I'm going to try and practice here is just making sure I land all my punches block or health. And making sure I time my dodges so I actually do dodge. And you see, he's just going to start step backing, so I'm just going to pretend. After after each dodge, he punches afterwards. So I'm just now you see I'm landing all my dodges, and now his stamina is depleted. It's fine here because look at his stamina. His stamina is down, so he I just have to break his block here. Now I knocked him. He's, he has no stamina, he can't do anything, just wait for his dodges. That last dodge really helped me out there. So you guys see how I was always above health, uh, stamina, even though he was a lot more health, he was not able to do anything. But yeah guys, just learning these tips and learning your stamina 
and make sure you can dodge at the right times and punch at the right times, it's okay. Because look, even though he dodged more, and I, I landed more punches, therefore I was doing much better. And now he's going to start doing a double punch step back combo. After each first punch, I'm gonna punch, I'm gonna dodge. Now you see I'm landing on my dodges. Good dodge. He has no no stamina to work with. Hit him, knock him down. You guys see how I was just all over him that entire round? This trick is gonna help you guys out super quickly. Like he had no stamina the entire round. I landed all my dodges. Like he may he he got a few dodges off, but mine counted because I actually knew how to counter. And I did not just punch into the living air. Break his block. He has no stamina to work with, so I could just get him in a stamina shock, which is, means they can't. He he's a stamina shock means he can't punch and he has no block. Therefore, he is in a stamina shock, so he's forced to block. But you guys could see, I hit a lot more punches than you may think. I went all in on that run. This guy I think is much better, so we're gonna have to see how we do here. But just learning these tips is gonna do much better. See, now he's dodging really quickly, so I'm just gonna be careful when I throw my first punch to avoid those hits. He's always punch and then dodge, so I'm just, I'm being careful, careful with that first punch. I just have to be a little bit more aggressive to not let him. His stamina's dead, so I'm just gonna break his block. That, you, you guys see? I just I just dodged at the right times and did everything correctly and I was able to get out of there. Making sure that he cannot breathe and dodging at the right times is the best thing. It's all about making sure, it's not always about landing for health. It's just about hitting your opponent. Of course, a little bit of technical skill come with, comes with time. But it's all about, you know, getting better at the game. And mobile players, you guys can use this too. It's all about being smart with your punches and knowing when he will dodge and not punching into his dodges. Okay, now my stamina is low. So what, here, here's what I'm gonna show you guys what I do when stamina is low. Usually they'll be very aggressive. So what you can do is just kind of take the damage. So what you would do is you just kind of like wait and take the damage so that you can regain some stamina and health. But it's you just have to be careful with your block. You see, he missed his first dodge and I just countered it with my own dodge. You see, now he's dodging a lot, but I'm not letting him... I'm, I'm not missing on any of my punches. Beautiful combo. And he's about to die here. Beautiful. You guys see, even when you guys are down, if you guys are able to counter your stamina a little bit later on, you're able to do much better. Even though he, we're even in dodges, he's missed more dodges than I have. But yeah, guys, just, it's all up, it, like, you guys don't need to, like, you guys need to just have fun with the game. It's all about learning the best tips and doing the right things that you will use to win. He broke my block here, so he, I can't really use my block yet, but I'm just gonna kind of just pressure him to do some moves so that he can't really do anything. Because I know his punch pattern. He always punches and then does a dodge back. As you guys see, he does. he's been doing it since the beginning. It's all about knowing when he's gonna do it. So you, you, you kind of feel it whenever he, whenever he, you walk over to them, he always does something every time he does that step back he does a he does a um a block so it's always better to target his block after that so you just not make it watching for a step back look step back he blocks step back blocks step back blocks okay i gotta be careful here i don't have any stamina i'm gonna wait that was a little bit risque on my end. I kind of just went all in without looking at my stamina. That That's one thing you have to be careful with. Make sure you have adequate stamina to go in for moves. But it's all about being careful, guys. You just got to be a little bit more careful with what you punch. That's it. You just can't throw your punches all like what you cared before. Before, you were able to just spam punches and it didn't matter. So it's just about getting better with that. Just learning when to punch and when to do that here. Let me see if it shows. So total dodges. You could see. Perfect perfect example, guys. Here, zoom in on the dodges. You guys could see. He got more dodges than me. But he threw so many more dodges that missed than I did. That's why I was able to get more stamina than him. I threw less dodges. But I was able to successfully make more percentage of my dodges. Which made them more valuable than his. Because he only did one third of his dodges. While mine, they were a lot more like half of my dodges.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, guys, I'm sorry if this explanation was very sloppy. To kind of recap everything that I said, stamina is important. So make sure you make sure you don't dodge enough or you don't dodge too much and you don't dodge unnecessarily and make sure that you punch your opponent and not when he's dodging because then your stamina is going to die and then you're just going to be screwed. So you guys just have to be much more careful with that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Let go, you decide if you're ever gonna